Colorado National Monument. Here you'll find breathtaking scenery, spectacular canyons, historic Rimrock Drive. If you're spending the day in Grand Junction and you have a few hours, this is only nine miles away. And here you can access 43 miles of trails on the Rimrock Drive, 19 spectacular overlooks, have access to our visitor center. We're the Roman family. Uh, we live here in Grand Junction, Colorado, and uh, we're here to enjoy a day at the Colorado National Monument. Today is going to be a fun-filled day. We're going to start with a, with a tour of the Visitor Center, see some of the history of the Colorado National Monument, and learn about a guy named Otto. And then we're going to take a nice little stroll down one of the, one of the many hikes that are available here in the Colorado National Monument. And it's fun for all, le all levels, whether uh, they're a little, little kid or uh, a seasoned athlete like my wife. When you come out, bring, um, you may want to bring a hat with you. You also will probably want to bring some water, bring some snacks. We have three picnic areas in the park. And make sure you bring plenty of film or your digital camera because there's a lot of things you'll want to take pictures of. This is our first stop on today's journey. We're here at Booklift Point. It is a beautiful area uh, to really capture the whole monument. You get to see some valleys, see a lot of contrast between the green, green juniper and the blue, blue sky. And uh, you can see literally for miles from this point. It's called Booklift Point. And uh, if you come stop by this point, you definitely will not be disappointed. Now our next stop is going to be over here at Independence Rock. And what's a really neat feature about that rock is at the base of it, John Otto carved the first paragraph of the Declaration of Independence by hand. So we're going to go take a look from the top and check out that scene now too. But, um, what we love about coming out here is just the time that we can spend with our family and enjoy the views and um, just take in the relaxation and the scenery and all God's beautiful creations. Um, as you come to the monument, be sure to take an Independence Monument. And if, you're, if your time allows, there's a hike to do to get to the base of Independence Rock. And that's where you'll see the carving that John Otto did. And it is absolutely beautiful. The Devil's Kitchen is another great highlight spot. But there's so much to see. Take your time. Come enjoy Colorado. You won't be disappointed.